Let's make eczema cream. Hi everyone, my name is Judy and welcome to my channel. If you're a regular subscriber here, you may have noticed that I just kind of disappeared off into the wilderness for a while and didn't do any posts. What happened was that I went to Asia for about six weeks and I got sick there. <clears throat> Having been sick, um, when I came home, I just really couldn't produce YouTube videos, especially with the jet lag. There's about 12 hour difference between here and there. So there's a lot of things that I've been dealing with. And I know you must be thinking that, oh, the show must go on, that you must produce every Thursday. That's true, I agree with you, but as China has proven, I'm kind of a weakling. So I did take that little bit of time off for myself. Um, good news is that I am back. The bad news is that I have broken up into a whole body full of eczema. It's probably due to the change in weather. I mean, in China and Vietnam, it was warm and hot, and so in certain times it was rainy. When I got back here, the weather was cold and it's a lot drier. So um, I've got some eczema breakouts on my back, on my legs, a little bit on my arms, but not as bad as the other two areas. Um, for a while I was scratching so hard that I was actually breaking skin and when I was showering my skin was burning So I knew I had to do something about it and what I found really helped was this zinc oxide It actually stopped the itching which I was really impressed about the only thing with this Recipe that I had was that it created a really hard product. It was really difficult to dig out of the container It was hard to apply and I just didn't like that at all. It also turned me very pasty white just to let you know. I mean, if you think about zinc oxide sunblock, it's the stuff that lifeguards put on their noses. So I put it almost all over my body and I've been walking around like a ghost for the past few days, but it works, I swear. If you're not seeing anybody for the next couple of days, go ahead and try it. Also, be aware that I am in Canada where my coconut oil is solid form. If you live in a hotter country with liquid coconut oil, you might get a different consistency. You may consider upping the amount of shea butter in it and decreasing the amount of coconut oil but I don't know the amounts for sure because I live in freezing cold Canada. Anyways, here's my recipe. You'll need coconut oil. It doesn't have to be organic but I just love the smell of this brand. You'll also need shea butter. I chose unrefined because it's less processed. You'll also need avocado oil. As mentioned before, zinc oxide will be your magic ingredient. I use the scale to measure out ingredients because you are working with things with different densities. You're also working with some liquids, some solids, and some powders, which makes it a bit confusing. So I use 75 grams of shea butter and coconut oil each, 36 grams of avocado oil, and 25 grams of zinc oxide. Be flexible with the amounts. For my burny patches of eczema, I actually needed more zinc but the cream obviously turned out a little bit harder. Step one, melt your avocado oil, coconut oil, and shea butter over low to medium heat. Remove the oils from the heat and carefully stir in zinc. You wanna be sure not to inhale any of the powder here, so pour it in carefully and stir slowly. Once the zinc powder is fully immersed in the oil, you can safely hand whisk it to combine. When your oil becomes milky, chill over an ice bath for about 20 minutes. Then whisk it. Whisk it good. This step isn't necessary, but whipping air into your product will make it less dense. If you live in a hot country, you may not get these bubbles to form, so just skip this step. If you're still with me, you're done when you see these tiny little bubbles forming in your product. Then you can transfer it into a container. I reuse this one from my mom. This is how the cream goes on. I don't know about you, but I hate trying new body butter or lotion recipes because I never know what the texture will be like in the end, so I thought I'd add this just to show you. Thanks for watching my video. I hope it helps eczema sufferers everywhere. If you found that this cream helped, please give my video a big thumbs up and comment below.